guys, I'm Michaela and I'm a London Street South Fashion Photographer. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create cool shots whilst being indoors. If you like these type of videos, make sure you check out my DIY home studio, which I'll link here and in my bio, because I show you how you can create cool shots whilst being indoors like this one. But today's video is about using household items to create cool shots like this. Now, I've been seeing some trends go along on TikTok and on Instagram, so I'm going to put them along into this video so you can see how they turn out like, and I'll also give you tips on how to do them. So, I'm going to start off the first sheet with my jumper. It's a knitted jumper which has a bit of holes in, and I go right next to my window where it has a natural light coming through in the morning, and I'm going to put this over my camera and see what shots we can get. I think it'll be kind of cool because it'll give it a nice blur around the sides or even some nice sunlight spots. So I decided to put my jumper over my camera lens and I attached it with an elastic band. Now this made it a bit complicated for when I was shooting because my camera could not do autofocus on me properly. So I'm gonna show you some failed attempts. But after I decided to move myself closer to the lens, that way the camera would be able to pick up me more on the autofocus. And yeah, it decided to get a bit better. I did switch to manual focus a few times just to see what the difference was. But in the end, autofocus was a lot better to pick me up. And after 10 to 15 minutes, I finally did get the shots, which I'll show here. And then decided to take off the elastic band to put my jumper on both sides of the lens to give it a more of a blurred look. So for the next shoot idea, I'm going to be moving my styling rack out of the way. Not so much the styling rack, just has a load of my clothes in it. And I'll be plastering the walls with newspaper. I've been seeing this as a trend on TikTok and Instagram, so I thought, why not I give it a go? So I'm going to clear all this out and I'm going to start sticking up the newspaper onto this wall. So I moved my sign rack out the way. I then proceeded to put tape onto my wardrobe so it was easier for me to stick the newspapers up instead of having to constantly unroll the tape. I'm sticking up the papers horizontally, like how the newspapers normally are. And from there, I'm going two by two down my wall with tape and the newspapers that be stuck on. After I get to the bottom, I also do the floor to make sure the floor's covered. And I do a little bit more of the top just for the Instagram crop. From there, I decided to layer the wall, so that means that there's more depth in the background and it's not just flat for the newspapers. So this is my lighting setup. I have one light behind my camera that's on the tripod and that should fill most of my face with the light. I also have some natural light coming in from behind. So really, you don't really need this light, but I just wanted to add in some extra light to fill out the photo. I then changed outfits and used my Kodiak film camera as a prop. If you watched my previous videos, you would know I love using props when taking self-portraits as it makes me feel less awkward and it gives me more of a candid vibe that I'm after. Final household item and TikTok trend is attaching a loo roll holder onto your phone, right at the back where the camera is and the flashlight. After that you put the flashlight on and it shines through creating a spotlight effect. Now I did try and do this on the newspaper wall but I thought that because of the wall was so busy the camera couldn't focus on me properly so then I decided to put it on my vinyl wall which again was the same issue where it was a bit too busy and although some of the shots had come out right, I felt like it wasn't good enough. So then I decided to wait a bit later where the light was darker and I didn't use the light behind me as much to put the loo roll holder onto the wall. Now this made the camera focus on me way better. It was a lot more sharper. And overall, I thought it was a cool effect just to do with your loo roll holder. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's given you some ideas on how you can use your own household items to create cool shots. If you do like this video though, please give it a like and subscribe and comment what your favourite shot was. And also, I just want to say a big thank you because I just got to a thousand subs. Now, I didn't think it was possible doing it, but thank you so much. It really means a lot.